Hello, I'm Lawrence Moroni for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. Android 12's first developer preview is here. In Android 12, we're investing in better user experience tools like compatible media transcoding, which helps your app work with the latest video formats. There's also easier copy and paste of rich content into your apps. There's audio coupled haptic effects. There's refreshed notification design, and there's a whole lot more. We're also adding privacy protections and optimizing performance to keep your apps responsive. The developer preview has everything you need to try the Android 12 features, test your apps, and give us some feedback. Just check out the blog post for a release timeline and a guide on how to get started. The Android show streamed live yesterday with some exciting announcements for Android developers. And in case you missed it, here's host Carrie Byron with a recap of some of the highlights. Wondering what happened in the Android show? Well, here's a recap. First, we covered the mega news that Jetpack Compose is officially moving into beta. With Jetpack Compose now in beta, it's a really good time to try yourself and start getting your apps ready for production soon. Then, we jumped into a quick demo on Compose and answered your questions live. And we're done. That's it. Wait, where's the XML? There is no XML. No XML? Next, we threw down the gauntlet for the next Android Developer Challenge. Q, literal, fully functioning Android Jetpack. You can watch the rest of the recap video and the full show recording on the Android Developers YouTube channel. And be sure to check out the linked posts for all the details on the Jetpack Compose Beta and the Android Developer Challenge. Cloud domains now in preview simplify domain registration and management within Google Cloud. Cloud domains improves the custom domain experience for developers, increases security, and supports stronger integration around DNS and SSL. It offers easy domain renewal through cloud billing and permissions management through cloud identity and access management. And it reduces what was a multi-step process to configure a custom domain to just a few clicks. Head on over to the post to find out more. We've announced a new beta release of Dart, and it's now available on dart.dev and also included in the beta channel of Flutter. This beta represents a new level of stability and confidence in the new sound null safety type system. If you're a package developer, we invite you to begin publishing stable, null-safe versions of your packages to provide the best experience for users when we ship the stable version of Dart with null safety. We've also added a new feature to pub.dev that tags package versions as preview releases when their dependent Dart SDK hasn't yet been released to stable. You can read more about the new beta release and find a null safety migration guide on the post. We're excited to announce the open source release of Model Search, a platform that helps researchers develop the best ML models efficiently and automatically. Instead of focusing on a specific domain, Model Search is domain agnostic, it's flexible, and it's capable of finding the appropriate architecture that best fits a given data set and problem, while minimizing coding time, effort, and of course, compute resources. It's built on TensorFlow, and can run either on a single machine or in a distributed setting. Check out the post for an overview of the model search system, some experimental results, and of course, a link to the code on GitHub so you can try it out for yourself. So please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Lawrence for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Do you like my TensorFlow mug?